clutches of the beast or the Caucasian or the white world. So the woman, the messenger, is pregnant. And the dragon is standing in front of the woman, meaning he's opposing the messenger. He know he can't bring the messenger to disbelief, so he's working to devour the child as soon as it is born. When you come to the mosque, you hear a word, the conception of life is in your mind. You say, man, I like that. I go up and shake the minister's hand. You come up, you shake my hand, you fill out a form. You say, oh, man, I, I really like this. Whoa, this is what I've been looking for all my life. You come to Mosque Marianne. That's why I called it Mary. Because she's pregnant with you. And you are going to be saviors of your people. So as Mary gave birth to Jesus, this mosque is going to give birth to male and female saviors who are going to go out of here, born into the world, to rise up and deliver your people. You understand? All praise is due to Allah. So the enemy stands before the mosque, Mariam, or before the minister, Farrakhan. Make it real plain. He's opposing me at every turn. But if he can't bring me to disbelief, the way he destroys me is to destroy you. So as soon as you come to birth as a Muslim, the idea is to kill you, not necessarily physically, but to turn you back into disbelief and make you hate the day that you ever met Louis Farrakhan so that you would purpose something that you could never attain. If all of you turn hypocrite together, you couldn't stop Islam. You couldn't stop the success of the message of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. You just can't do that. And you can't kill the apostle of God unless it pleases God that you do so. And I don't believe that it does. But, but that does not stop. That does not stop the hypocrite from having the thought in his mind or her mind to kill the apostle. What do you want to kill me for? Because Allah enriched you out of his grace. What is his grace? Wisdom. You came to me a damn fool. And I taught you knowledge and lifted you up from where you were. Why in the hell would you want an end to your brother? That's sick. That's madness. But some are thinking like that. And really what they're doing, it would be wise if they would repent of those thoughts, because it would be good for you if you do. But if you don't, the Quran says, Allah will chastise them with a painful chastisement in this world and the hereafter. And they shall have in the earth neither a friend nor a helper. That's a bad state to be in, brother, when you think you got friends and none of them are your friends. Because a hypocrite can't have a friend because a hypocrite is a friend to nobody. Because he's a liar. She's a liar. When you are enemy of God, how in the hell can you be the friend of anybody? When God is the greatest benefactor of all of us, what right do we have to turn on God? And the dragon stood before the woman to devour her child as soon as it was born. What kind of child was it? It was a man child. 
that was destined to rule the nations, all of them, with a rod of iron. In our lessons, the devil worked to destroy you when you're a baby. He's not going to let you grow into strength and power. Once he knows you're his enemy and you're a baby, he will kill the baby. That's why your babies are not doing well. Babies dying of AIDS. Babies sick. Babies being killed. But it's talking about you, brother, the black man. You have a great destiny. You don't think much of yourself, brothers, but you are some powerful men. All of you. There's not one of you that is not potentially powerful. The enemy knows this. So he stands before the apostle to devour the man-child because he don't expect the woman to supplant him, but you will supplant the white man as a ruler. And that he never intends to see. So his aim is to destroy the black man and particularly the black child. And that's why FOI class is so important. And that's why you must understand, brothers, that we are at war. Even though you don't see a bullet being fired, we are at war, but the war is fought on this level now. They're after the men. Before you can grow from a child into a man, they don't want to see you become a man kill you now. They want no competition. And so, brothers and sisters, we have to look at the enemy within. The enemy that's on the outside, that you can handle. But the enemy that you got to really watch for is the dragon sitting next to you, posing as a Muslim. They've already spoken the word of disbelief and disbelief after their Islam, but they won't leave the mosque. They sit in the mosque, and they come after every new brother and every new sister to poison them. Their aim is to destroy Islam. They can't do it. The enemy sent in a particular mosque a man in. He was a young man. And he worked his way up into the secretarial department. And he was told by those who sent him to steal the money of the poor believers who are giving their money in charity to the cause of Islam, he is an agent of the federal government working his way into the secretarial department to steal the funds of poor people so that we can't make progress for poor people. Isn't that something? This is going on right now. So everybody in the mosque is not a Muslim, though they all say, "Assalamu alaikum." You got to understand that. Nothing wrong with that. That's just as it's written that it would be. You got people in here that are sincere, brothers and sisters, and you got people that are faking it. And if you don't know who the sincere ones are, who the fakers are, then you have to grow and be wise and watch and listen to people. And look, when I speak to you, you go out on a high, man. That's what truth does. 
if somebody is talking to you on the spirit of the minister, they don't kill your spirit, they lift your spirit. But when you're sitting next to somebody and they're talking to you and you go home and your head is all confused and messed up and you don't know right then whether you want to continue to be a Muslim or whether you want to give it up, that person is different from the minister who spoke to you and raised you up. That's a person trying to kill you. And yet they say, assalamu alaikum and give you a big smile, maybe even loan you some money when you think you need it. And you won't say nothing on them. You won't report them to the minister or Ishmael or the officials. You won't say nothing. Oh, he's my friend. I, oh, but I'm so messed up, man. Damn, I couldn't sleep all night long. God, he didn't have to tell me that. Well, then he'd see you the next day. How you doing, brother? He watching you. See how you took what he dropped on you last night. Or what she dropped on you last night. Because they got she droppers as well as he droppers. <laughs> if you're not wise, first thing you should do is say, well, I was well till I talked to this dude. I was feeling fine. Now I got a headache, man. All of a sudden, your spirit is down. See, you come to the mosque because you know it's where you should be. But, yeah. all right, brothers, here's the paper. You ain't got the strength to pick up a paper where you gladly gave in charity with a smile. You don't get nothing this week. You don't get nothing next week. And maybe your attendance gets slack. And you begin to think this is a game. Somebody's tricking you because you've been tricked all your life. And you think now this is another one. Brother and sister, let me straighten you out real quick, you know. This is an awful game to play. You know, I could do so many things with my life. Believe me, I'm a very talented brother. I don't need this to make a living for my family. I didn't need this to make a living for my family before I met this. I want to make it very clear to you. You ain't got nothing that I want to rob you of. You know, they say all that a man has, he'll give for his life. My life is on the line, brother. When you see the CIA, the FBI after me, when you see the Bush don't like me, the Jews don't like me, these are powerful enemies. And if I wanted to be loved, I could play the game like Jesse. If I wanted to be loved, you, what I mean, what I mean is when I say play the game, I could stop talking about what concerns black people and talk about our America, our Constitution, our flag, but you know it ain't ours. And if you don't know it, I know it. I can't play that game. Even if it meant that I die, I'd rather be dead than to play that game. No, I can't say my country tis of thee sweet land of liberty. You talk that crap, but I can't do that and be true to who and what I am. No, this ain't no sweet land of liberty. It's a cursed land of slavery and debauchery and evil. And I got to stand up and say it like it is. So don't think that the little car that the brothers bought me, limousine or some little car I drive or nice clothes I wear, that that's payment for my work. 
you can't pay me for what I do. I'm not promised no money for what I do. I'm promised a reward from God for what I do. So the fact that I ride in a nice car or wear nice clothes don't make me good. And the fact that you may not have those things doesn't make you less than I am. Because this is not the measure of a man. It's here and it's here. That's where the real man is. So the dragon stands before the woman to kill the man-child. Nothing in the nation will be successful without the men. It's wonderful to have sisters that help, but this is not church. In the church, the women run that house because the men are non-productive. It's the women who work in the church. Is that right? Yes, sir. That's right? You should work wherever you are. But since God made us with two legs, don't you think a man ought to work for his woman? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on. Yes, sir. Then if this is a true house of God, and man was made to have dominion and power. Then brothers, it's you that have to carry the nation on your shoulder. That's why the brothers in the FOI have the sun, moon, and star on their shoulders. The sisters don't have that. Because the book said the government would be upon his shoulder. And he would be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Prince of Peace, the Everlasting Father. Well, that's what you came here for, brothers, to help work to build a nation for your woman and your children to enjoy. That means if the men are weak, the nation is weak. If the men are strong, the nation is strong. If the men are strong and the women are strong and supportive, the nation is super strong. And that's why the dragon stands before Mosque Maria. Since this is the headquarters mosque of the nation, they got the most skilled hypocrites in this house. Because if they can stop us at the center, then they can stop us in New York, in LA, in Atlanta, and all the cities across the country. So their skilled devils will be here working. They work on the leadership. They start from the top down and from the bottom up. They're termites. They love to sow the seed of dissension between the leadership because usually they're always in all organizations, particularly where there are black people, there's always some kind of power struggle. Somebody not happy with their post want to be something else. And the people ain't crazy, they see it. So some will slip up next to you. I think that you ought to be the minister. You're so intelligent, so smart. I just love the way you teach. I mean, the spirit is just all over. You should be the minister. And you act like you didn't hear it. After a while, that stuff starts feeding you. I'm going to close. The object of a hypocrite is to kill the progress, the onward motion, the forward motion 
of an individual and a people. Now, that Muhammad University of Islam, small, insignificant, but its record is better than the record of any school in the nation, white or black. Now, that's significant. You graduate 10 high school students. 50% of your class, your graduating class, are honor students. And four of 10, not two, but four are in who's who of American high school students. Four out of 10. You ain't got that in no school in America but at Muhammad University of Islam. Now, regardless to what fault we find with our own school, the product is the witness. Everything can be improved, but if we take what we have and work with it and make it better and better and better, then maybe all 10 or 15 will graduate and be in who's who. A hypocrite wants to destroy that school. So they'll speak against the school. So you'll take your child out of the school. There's always going to be problems, but this is yours. So you don't want to abandon what is yours, you want to fix what is yours. You live in a house, that's your house. If there's a crack in the ceiling, you don't go try to buy another house, you fix the crack in the ceiling. That's your house. And the dragon stood before the woman to devour her child as soon as it was born. My appeal to you, my dear believers, is to remain steadfast and strong in the faith. And don't let the enemy drag you down from the mount of truth after you have mounted up. Don't let the enemy drag you out of the light of God back into the darkness from which we came. Don't let the enemy do that. And in order for you not to let the enemy do that, you've got to be on God 23 hours, 56 minutes, 46 seconds, every day, every day, every week, every month, every year. You can't fall asleep on your post. You got to walk your post in a perfect manner. Enemy do that. You've got to be on God 23 hours, 56 minutes, 46 seconds, every day, every day, every week, every month, every year. You can't fall asleep on your post. You got to walk your post in a perfect manner keeping always on the alert, observing everything within sight or hearing. You have to be an observant person. Yes, sir. You got to listen to people when they talk, and when they don't talk right, check them. Yes, hey, brother, that's the wrong word. You speak yes. like that again, and I'll report you. Yes, what do you mean? I can't, I ain't no, we, we can't have no snitch. That's like seeing a cockroach in your house and you don't want to put raid on the cockroach. After a while, the cockroach will multiply and multiply and multiply because you saw one and you slept on the one. Now there's five, now there's 10, now there's a colony of them and they're driving you out of your house. And that's what a hypocrite is. He's a human cockroach crawling out of the dark. 
You don't come out when the light is on, you run. But when the dark comes, the cockroach will move out looking for some filth. Cockroach you can't find in a clean place. Human cockroaches. You see, I, I can't report that, brother. Said, report all slackness and wrongdoing. Why? You want to keep your nation strong. Me and you as buddies. Me and you. Man. Me and you. We hanging together. Me and you. We Muslims and we buddies. Me and you. You and me. We down. Come on over to my house. You come over. I'm feeling you out. See what you go for. You know, when I was out there in the world, man, I used to smoke a lot of reefer. What about you? <laughs> I used to smoke a lot myself. <laughs> I put it down, man. I put it down, but I'm telling you, sometimes I get weak. You know what I mean? I think about it. You know what I mean? Well, you know, brother, I tell you, I'm trying to clean up. You know what I mean? But just before I came into Mars, I bought a pound, and I really didn't want to throw it away. Because, you know, the messenger teaches us to be practical. Yes, sir. And look, brother, since I got this pound and I'm not going to throw it away, I made up my mind, understand, that after this is done, I ain't never going to return to this no more. So why don't we do up a joint together? You and me, me and you, my man. Assalam salaikum. Before you know it, you and him got a, a joint you smoking. And after you smoke the joint, you feel real guilty, sister. <laughs> this is how they work. You trying to be right. He says, sister, I'm coming in the nation. You know what I mean? Me and you. <laughs> Me and you. And, and you know, it's a clean life in the nation. There's no fornication, there's no adultery, nothing like that. Nothing like that. <laughs> but sis, you know, I mean, they give you time to get it together. And why are we getting it together? Why don't we just get together and help get it together? Here go another one. Into fornication in a long dress. Reefer smoker with his bow tie on. Homosexual hiding in the ranks. That's real, man. Yes, sir. But it's me and you. See, people don't do evil alone. They got to do it with somebody. Ain't that something? You can't be a hypocrite by yourself. You got to get, you got to recruit. If you use drugs, you're trying to find somebody to use it with you. If you're a homosexual or lesbian, you got to find somebody that will go that way with you. Come on. It's charity. You gotta share. You share evil, you share good. Now you're on the road to hypocrisy. All dressed up with your bow tie on, your fine suit, your long dress. But you've been smoking that reefer last night. You've been partying. Had a little affair. Mm-hmm. I'm in a mosque tonight. 
praise is due to Allah. The minister is teaching a hard subject like I'm doing tonight. And guilt come over you say, I'm going to tell it. I got to tell something. That's, it's eating me up on this. I got to tell somebody. Then the one that you're going to tell on spies you in the audience and looks at you with that cold look. Don't you report me. <laughs> oh, I tell on you too. We'll all get time together. <clears throat> so one is covering the other's backside. You understand? And before you know it, the house starts beginning to stink. Corruption. And then the power of the house begins to diminish. And the light in the house begins to go dim. And darkness begins to come over the house. And pretty soon the hearts wax cold. And before you know it, we can't get anything going anymore because we have become hypocrites. We broke our oath and we promised Allah, look Allah, if you would just enrich me out of your grace, I'm going to be righteous. I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And Allah said, okay, I'll try you. And he enriches you. Then you get niggardly. And then he requites you with hypocrisy in your hearts till the day you meet him because we broke our promise with Allah and because we lied. And if we become a house like that, the dragon has already won. He has dragged us down from the Mount of Truth, dragged us out of light into darkness, dragged us from strength into weakness. We are no longer what we thought we were. There's no condition that can't be reversed. So I don't want to leave you with the thought in mind that a condition like that can't be reversed. To the brother who may have that pound and you down to a half a pound and got another month or so to smoke reefer and to give somebody else reefer, I'm asking you tonight to go home and throw it all away. And stop lying to yourself. You ain't going nowhere with no joint. 